Hi there, my name is Pearl, and today we're going to learn all about our teeth. Open your mouth. What's in there? Those little white things are your teeth. Some of those teeth have started growing since you were six months old. These are called your primary teeth. You will have 20 of those. 10 on your upper jawline and 10 on your lower jawline. Think of them as placeholders for your permanent teeth that will come in later. They will go through this cycle where new teeth will grow in, then fall out, all up to the age of 12. The first time a tooth should fall out is when you're about 6 years old. So that's when you should expect your first visit from the tooth fairy. When your first tooth falls out, a new one comes in to take its place, and those will be your permanent teeth. You will have 32 permanent teeth. So, what are the jobs of the different teeth? There are four different types of teeth. Incisors are sharp, and they help with cutting your food into small pieces. Canines are the sharpest teeth, so they're used for tearing your food apart. Premolars have a flat biting surface, and they're used for tearing and crushing food. Molars are the largest teeth, with a large flat biting surface, so they're used to chew, crush, and grind your food. Okay, it's time for a pop quiz. How many primary teeth and permanent teeth are there? A. 15 primary and 20 permanent B. 20 primary and 32 permanent C. 30 primary and 10 permanent or D. 5 primary and 25 permanent If you said B, then you got it right. Awesome job! Your teeth are important in many ways. If you take care of them, they'll help take care of you. Strong, healthy teeth help you chew the right foods to help you grow. They help you speak clearly, and yes, they help you look your best. Brushing your teeth helps prevent plaque, which is a clear film of germs that stick to your teeth. The germs in your mouth grow around your teeth and around their gums every day. After you eat, the germs go crazy over the sugar on your teeth, like ants at a picnic. The germs break down the sugars into acids that eat away at the tooth, causing holes called cavities. Your gums are those soft pink tissues in your mouth that hold your teeth in place. Plaque also causes gingivitis, which is a gum disease that can make your gums red, swollen, and sore. If you don't take care of your teeth, cavities and unhealthy gums will make your mouth very, very sore. Eating meals will be difficult and you won't feel like smiling so much. It's time for another quiz. What would happen if you stopped brushing your teeth? A. Cavities B. Gingivitis C. Plaques D. All of the above The correct answer is D. All of the above. Great job! Let's keep going! So, you may be wondering now, how do you take care of your teeth? Well, it's actually super easy. You just have to do two things. First, brush your teeth twice a day with a toothbrush. Your toothbrush should have soft bristles and a handle that fits easily in your hand. Make sure your toothpaste has a special chemical called fluoride. Fluoride in toothpaste helps remove plaque. Remember plaque? That's the sticky film on your teeth that causes tooth decay. Make sure you only use a pea-sized dab of toothpaste on your toothbrush and try not to swallow the toothpaste while you brush. Brush towards the center of your mouth, moving the brush up and down. Don't forget to brush your tongue because sometimes little pieces of food get stuck in there too. You can use your toothbrush or a special tongue scraper to brush your tongue. Secondly, floss your teeth daily to remove little bitty pieces of food and plaque from between your teeth and your gum line. If we don't floss regularly, the plaque can harden into tartar, and once tartar has formed, it can only be removed by your dentist. Lastly, you and your family should visit the dentist for regular checkups every six to eight months 
And that's it. That's how you take care of your teeth. Let's see how much you can remember. How many times a day should you brush your teeth? A. Three times a day. B. One time a day. C. Two times a day. D. Never. If you said C. Two times a day, then you got it right. Great job, superstar! If you made it here, then it means you're close to knowing all you need to do to have the healthiest teeth. Besides brushing your teeth, there is more you can do to protect and take care of your teeth. The first step towards taking care of your teeth is watching what you eat. All the food that you eat is chewed by your teeth and many small particles get stuck around and between your teeth. So you want to make sure that all the foods you are eating do not harm your teeth. Try not to eat and drink anything with a lot of sugar. These include cookies, cakes, rice krispies, soda, fruit juices. You can eat them sometimes, but try not to eat them too much. I know they are delicious, but the sugar from the sweets can get stuck between and around your teeth, and that can give you a cavity. Earlier, you learned all the different types of teeth you have, and to help protect all these teeth, it's important to make sure you only use your teeth for chewing food and not anything else, like opening bottles or playing with toys. Now, let's see how much you remember. Which of these foods should you try to limit to protect your teeth? A. Vegetables B. Bread C. Sweets D. Fruit If you said C. Sweets, then you are correct. You are one step closer to having a beautiful smile. If you have any questions about how to keep your teeth healthy, make sure you ask your dentist. See you later!